<laughs> wow, way to throw your friend under the bus. This clip is from the very first night that I did in Ottawa. I was setting up a joke that I have about sexting and dick pics. And just as I was getting towards the punchline, I happened to notice that there was a woman right in the front who was saying something really loudly to her friend. Women's issues also, we gotta be better to women. You know, women are getting harassed. They can't even date online. These guys are just sending dicks and gross sexual messages. I got a friend who's dating online. She's like, these guys aren't even sending hi. They're just sending dicks and gross sexual messages. And if they're like, what was that? What did you say? I was like, no, that's all her. She's getting the dick test. <laughs> <laughs> wow, way to throw your friend under the bus. Oh, yeah. He's talking about this slut over here. He's talking about dick pics? Well, just let me show you her photo file, man. This girl's the queen of dick pics. She can publish a whole series of books of dick pics. This fucking... At this point, I tried to engage with the other woman to let her know that I was just teasing. Of course, I believe she gets the normal amount of dick pics. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good lord. I'm sure it's normal. I'm sure it's the normal amount of dick pics. It's not normal. I was trying to save you, but now everybody here knows that you're just a dick pic magnet. They just fly at you from all different parts of the country. That's bizarre. So you think you get a above average number of dick pics? You don't know. You say yeah. Yes. You definitely, you're very confident in this. Yes, we fucking hot, yes! <laughs> Calm down, I think she likes you. <laughs> So, I am obviously very passionate about politics. Following politics can be a little frustrating at times. It can make you feel a little powerless. You see all these changes that you want to make, but you're not really sure how to go about doing it. So a couple of months ago, I had an idea for something that I could do to maybe help. I figure our government works better if we have more people participating. So, I decided to put together a stand-up show that would benefit voting rights organizations and help register new voters. I teamed up with three of my favorite stand-up comedians, Selena Cox. Allison Klemp and Matt Nadostup. And the four of us have created what we are calling Stand Up 2020, a monthly stand up comedy show slash voter registration drive leading up to the 2020 election. In addition to registering new voters, we're also going to be raising money for voting rights organizations like Fair Fight and Spread the Vote. Our first show is going to be Friday, November 1st at 7 p.m. at the Pitt Theater on 24th Street in New York City. In every show that we do after that, we're going to try to keep it to the first Friday of every month. So if you're thinking like, oh, when's the January show? When's the April show? Just, it'll, it'll probably be the first Friday of every month. We have already got an incredible lineup for our first two shows. A couple famous people. So if you want to come check it out, go to my website, jaredberenstein.com, and look for Stand Up 2020. There will also be links in the description where you can get tickets and information. So if you want to register to vote, if you want to get involved with some dope voting rights organizations, if you want to donate to some incredible groups, if you want to get involved in local politics, or if you just want to see a super awesome stand-up show, come check out Stand Up 2020, the first Friday of every month leading up to the 2020 election. Here's the link again. And there's links in the description. There's links everywhere.